On Sunday, September 15, participants of all ages gathered at the Philip Masler Grounds in V4 for the second annual Caribbean Wellness Day Walk. This event marks the culmination of a week-long series of activities in celebration of Caribbean Wellness Day. Key collaborators were the Taiwan International Cooperation and Development Fund, the St. Lucia Wake Up and Run Initiative, and the St. Lucia Moves Campaign. The Caribbean Wellness Day walk not only underscored the importance of regular physical activity, but also highlighted the power of community engagement in fostering healthier lifestyles. The Minister for Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs, Honorable Moses Jabaptis, extended his heartfelt congratulations to the Ministry of Health and its partners for their efforts in organizing the event. The minister took the opportunity to emphasize the critical role that initiatives like Caribbean Wellness Day play in promoting a healthier and more resilient nation. I think it's very important to, to try our very best to cause these activities to happen spontaneously at the community level. I think, yes, it's important for the ministry to set the example, but if we do it um, um, often and we do it in the different communities, hopefully community organizations, churches and and um, everybody else will just do it spontaneously without the, 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 the nudge from the ministry. This is what we really hope, that this becomes part of, of just a way of life in St. Lucia. Participants enthusiastically shared their thoughts on the event, highlighting its positive impact on both physical and mental well-being. I feel that's a good initiative because nowadays when you really look at everybody, everybody's going to fast food and all these kind of things like that. But having something like that, let's say, I would say every quarterly, something like that around the country, it's a good thing and would give everybody in shape and top shape as that. And bring it, and I, I was so impressed as well, you just seen some of the younger children walking away ahead of me. I have always enjoyed taking part in anything that has to do with fitness. And so when I heard of this activity, certainly I had to be a part of it. I think every person, young or old, ought to take part in things like this because it's an excellent opportunity to take care of your health. I think this motivates people to get out and do something. It might not be for competition but for your own health. 30 minutes, all you need is just 30 minutes a day for yourself where you could do your sit-ups, your push-ups, your burpees and that a little work in your community will help. District Medical Officer within the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs, Dr. Jenny Isaac Louisi, shared a strong message explaining that the power to improve health outcomes lies within each person. We need to move towards peace. We need to move towards less crime. We need to move towards less accidents. All of those things affect our blood bank and it affects our hospital bed space. And so when we look at um, our nation holistically, we see that our health should be priority. We should move more, we should eat healthier, we should get good quality sleep. We need to manage our stress better. We need to have better conflict resolution. And if we, if we take a holistic approach to our individual wholeness and, and wellness as a nation, we would be better off. As Caribbean Wellness Day continues to grow in prominence, this annual walk serves as a reminder of the collective effort required to combat NCDs and promote a culture of wellness throughout St. Lucia and the wider Caribbean. From the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs, I am Onika McCoy.